Hello and welcome to this quick comparison video when it comes to system versus WordPress. So there can be a potentially a lot to compare when it comes to this. On one hand, we have System. They are a great all-in-one platform when it comes to creating landing pages, sales funnels, email marketing, memberships. You can do webinars. They also come with a free plan, which is, I guess, something you can certainly compare. If you haven't tested them out, I will put a link in the description where you can utilize their free plan. And if you need to upgrade later down the road, you can do that. On the other hand, a lot of people know WordPress simple for simply for WordPress websites and blogs. They are free to use, but if you're going to use them, you're going to need hosting. So that's something you want to keep in mind. Like they say right here, SiteGround is an option. I use them as well as many other hosting platforms because I'm crazy like that. But overall, when you think about WordPress, you can go on, you can add plugins, you can add themes, whether they're going to be free or paid. So the biggest thing I want to compare right here is just going to be WordPress websites and blogs compared to what system has to offer in terms of their blog. So let's take a look at this. I've done videos about this previously. If you'd like to create a blog and of course, create some blog posts, you can certainly do that. There are a few templates that you can choose from, nothing compared to the amount that WordPress is going to have in combination of being free and paid, which is something to keep in mind. Let's create that there. Once we're there, we can click on the blog and this is where we can start editing our posts, our pages, or even categories. So it starts off by giving you a complete layout where all you got to do is pretty much go in, change things around. I'll show you what the blog looks like when you're first getting started. So it looks pretty good. These are some of the recent dummy articles, which you can obviously delete. Same with categories and so on and so forth. But allow me to show you what it looks like if you actually want to create a blog post, which I've done before a couple times. Give me one sec. Okay, so we have blog post description and so on and so forth. Category A, like you can delete all these. I just want to show you the process. And let's go here and let's edit this. And it's a simple drag and drop ability to go down, you know, add in your text. This is where your text is going to go. Text goes here. And of course, if you want to move that to the left, I do like the fact that they have like a drag and drop builder. You know, they also have the blocks similar to what a lot of like uh, WordPress themes and plugins have to offer. Usually, sometimes you got to pay for things like that. So it's cool that they have the ability to do that. However, on the other hand, then we go to WordPress. This is just like a dummy page. Uh, this is a website I haven't done much to, so there's not a whole lot going on. It's very simple, you know, when it comes to creating blog posts with WordPress title, you can have all your aspects here. And unless you want to add some fancy drag and drop stuff to it, usually you'll have to get some type of premium, either plugin or theme to help you with that kind of like Thrive, Elementor is another one. But one of the biggest things I want to talk about that not a lot of people mention is the ability of owning your website. So if you were to use system, it's going to be great if you want to utilize all these other great things. Like I said, it's perfect for people who want to get started, who maybe don't have experience with landing pages and sales funnels. It's great that they have that. They got memberships and courses. But if you just wanted to say create a blog, you know, maybe put a few things on it and you're not really big into creating hundreds or even thousands of blog posts, then yeah, system is going to be great. However, on the other hand, if you're looking to be like a blogger, an expert, you want to get a lot of SEO traffic. I do highly recommend WordPress for that very situation. The fact that you can just add so many things to them, there's plenty of great plugins, there's plenty of great themes. They're perfect when it comes to ranking in search engines. I'm not saying you can't do that with System. In fact, their website does very well with that. They got a ton of backlinks, they do it very well, but they also own that. There's a difference. One thing when it comes to WordPress is the fact that you own your website. And that's something that I really love and want and have always done. So regardless of what the sales funnel software is, it's good that they have the ability to create websites. If you want to create a little one here, just have a few posts, you're going to be good to go. But if you really want to dig deep, crank out hundreds is even thousands of blog posts, I always recommend WordPress just for the fact that you own it. And there's so many great things that WordPress you can do when it comes to plugins and even themes. For example, plugins. What if I need help when it comes to optimizing my SEO titles and metadata? There's going to be plugins for that. What if I want to utilize an affiliate link and I don't want to use that clickbait? link because it looks horrible. It's long. It probably looks like a virus. We have pretty links for that. What if I want to add a plugin that's going to allow my pages to load lightning fast in under one second? You see where I'm getting at? There's just so much more to customize when it comes to WordPress overall, specifically if you're going to be blogging for the long term. So on one hand, system is going to be great when it comes to landing pages, sales funnels, memberships, pretty much everything. And even when it comes to creating your blog. But if you want to do more than just create a couple blog posts, if you really want to dig deep when it comes to getting SEO traffic, definitely go with WordPress and hosting. And that's going to be the biggest difference there. Yes, with WordPress, you can create landing pages and sales funnels, but that's with the ability to add on other things. And I don't want to bring that into play because then we're comparing, you know, 
system to just other products as opposed to WordPress in general. So I hope you kind of get the idea when it comes to that. System is pretty much great for all of these things, but if you really want to dive deep into creating a blog, ranking in the search engines, going from there, building a ton of backlinks to something you own, WordPress is going to be good for you. And that's the comparison when it comes to System versus WordPress. Once again, I will put a link down below in case you haven't gotten to try System for free. You can start off on their free plan. And if you want to upgrade, that's what the upgrades are going to be there for. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video.